Hello gorgeous people, how are you? Well today we're going to talk about how to maintain your state. And I don't mean, oh I'm in a right state, I'm in a good state, that's where we want to be. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. I once worked with a guy who was depressed, okay? In the first session, we did some good work and that was lovely. In the second session, because quite often when you start working with people, it's like stirring the pot and all of the shit that was at the bottom gets moved around. So in the second session, his girlfriend came to the screen as well and she said, he's very bad. He's very, very bad. In fact, he's not going to be able to sit up. He can only lie down when he's working with you. and. The camera, she turned the camera and there he was lying on his side, curled up in a fetal position in a ball like this. And I said, what's happening? He goes, I'm just so bad. So I said to him, right, if you want me to work with you, I want you to fucking sit up and be a man and put your back straight and lift your head up, okay? There's a bit what's called provocative therapy. So he sat up, he sat up and he lifted his head up and I said, push your shoulders back, make your back straight, look at me. From that moment, he was in a slightly better place. Was the session wonderful? No, because he was miserable. However, it was a damn sight better than when he was lying curled up in a fetal position. So the first thing about state management is this. State management, bad. I'm just so depressed. This world's so awful. Right. So I want you to try this. Just try this. Do the same as me. Roll your shoulders forward now. Hang your head down. And I want you to say, everything is just so bad. Okay? Try it. And you'll find that it's really believable. Because when you're depressed, and you're bent over, it feels true. It feels very true. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to sit up straight, put your shoulders back, straighten your back. I want you to smile like this, smile. And I want you to say, everything's so bad with this voice. Everything's so bad. Oh, I'm so depressed. Do you believe it? I certainly don't. Everything's so bad, I'm so depressed. It's not the right physiology to be depressed. So the first rule of thumb with state management is sort your posture out. If you feel depressed, if you feel down, if you feel sad and it's going on for too long, hey, there's nothing wrong with feeling down, depressed and sad at the right time. But if it's a, it's a habit that you're into, straighten yourself up and smile and then try and be depressed. You'll find it very difficult. If you are feeling down, go and find a mini trampoline and jump up and down on the trampoline for about 10 minutes and then try and be depressed. You won't be able to. Why? Because depressed people don't jump on trampolines and the act of jumping up and down on a trampoline releases beautiful feel good drugs in your body that make you happy. And so one of the ways of getting over depression, and it's this is official, is jumping on a tram pit. Okay, jumping up and down. You can do it anyway. It doesn't, if you haven't got a trampoline, jump up and down on the ground for about five minutes. Just jump up and down. Way. It's very difficult to be sad. Physiological posture has everything to do with it. Mind, body, spirit. If your body's in a depressed position, your mind will be in a depressed position too. And your spirit and your emotions. If your body's in a positive place, then typically you are. That's why people who have uh, long-term illnesses and pain also become depressed. If you look at somebody who's in pain, constant pain, you look at the body posture, they're gonna be like this. Of course, it's natural because you're in pain. So the body automatically finds the right posture to go with the right feeling. So what you can do is you can override that by finding the right posture. Go, and go for a run 
or go for a brisk walk. It's very difficult to be depressed when you're walking briskly. When, you, when you're when dragging your feet along the ground, uh, that's easy to be depressed, okay? So physiological is, is ever so fast for pulling you out of a dodgy state. I, now I'm gonna share this with you, okay? And I want you to do this with me. And this is thanks to Paul McKenna. I like Paul McKenna. He's done some fantastic work. And he does this little thing in, on, on his, in his talks, etc. He gets people to do this. And I want you to do it with me, okay? And I want you to notice how it makes you feel. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna smile like this, right? Big, cheesy smile. Why? When you smile, your body does not know the difference between pretend smile and real smile. It does something to the, the neural pathways in your brain and your brain goes, oh, we're smiling, we'll release smiley feel-good drugs, okay? But there's more. So I want you to smile like this and I want you to make this noise. <laughs> I struggle to do it every time because I break into laughter. Try it with me. Smile. Now, how do you feel when you make that really weird noise? And apparently Paul McKenna tried various noises and that was the one that did it. Everybody instantly feels much better when they do that. And if you do, if you do that and look at somebody else as you're doing it, two things happen. One is that you will laugh. The other one is that you will laugh at the look that they give you as well. They may laugh, but they may not. They may look at you as though to say, should I call a doctor? Okay, so that's a really simple technique just to make yourself feel good. Physical things you can do. So try it. I, since I saw Paul McKenna suggest that, I've done it a few times and each time it makes me laugh and I just feel better. Why? Because as soon as you do that, your body's going, Way, hey, come on, we're happy. I'll give you some happy drugs. Okay, and then they last for a while in the system. When they run out, do it again. Okay, and then you'll feel good. Now, the other thing that you can do, there are two things to manage your state. One is to listen to the shite that you say to yourself. Or maybe not. Maybe you don't say shy to yourself. But if you do, fucking stop it. Stop saying horrible things about you, about your life, about your world. Stop saying horrible things. When you say, oh my God, this is just getting worse. Oh my God, where's this going to lead to? This is terrible. Okay, and I've talked about dramatic language before. All that does is it fires off neural pathways in your brain that make your brain go fight or flight. I think we'll go into fight or flight, okay? You don't want to be in fight or flight and you cause it. Remember, it's not what happens to you that matters. It's how you respond to what happens to you. And so all you need to do to feel better is to say some nice things to yourself. Every time that you achieve something, and I'm not talking about running a marathon or, you know, uh, jumping 20 meters, anything. You've washed the dishes and you say, good job, good job. Well done for washing the dishes. You've tidied the house. I'm doing a lot of housework type of metaphors here. Uh, you've tidied the house. Look at my house, isn't it beautiful? Just do five minutes of gratitude Talk about what you appreciate in your life, right? And if you can't find anything that you appreciate, if everything seems so bad, appreciate the fact that you're still breathing, right? And that might sound ridiculous, but you're still alive. You go, well, at least I'm still alive. At least I'm still breathing. At least I've still got a house to live in, or at least I've still got a car that I can sleep in if I didn't have my house. Or at least I've got nature. At least I've got a relationship with God. It doesn't matter. No matter how bad it gets, there's always something that you can be appreciative of. When you go into appreciation, the attitude of gratitude, I know that's a cliche, but it's true, you will feel better. It fires off feel-good neurons in your brain and feel-good drugs.
And then the last thing, to manage your state, be sure to help other people as often as you can. Be sure to give somebody a smile, hold the door open for somebody, carry somebody's bag, help somebody, whatever, any kind of help that you can do, that is going to make you feel better. Why? Because we are service to other beings. We come here to serve other people. When you help other people, you are fulfilling your purpose. There's nothing else that you need to do. So help people as often as you can. And you can help people by giving them a kind word, a kind look. There are tons of ways of helping people. It isn't giving people money. It's helping people, helping people emotionally, helping your friends, listening to somebody when they want to talk and listening to them actively. All of these things have this tremendous payback. Remember, there's nothing that we do that isn't selfish. And that works both ways. When we do harm to other people, we pay the price. When we say bad things to other people, we pay the price. The mind doesn't understand the concept of I'm saying these bad things to this person or I'm doing these bad things to this person. It instantly thinks that you're doing it to yourself because you are. But exactly the converse works. When you say nice things to people, your mind's listening and it says, whoa, that's nice. I'm a nice person. You get paid for every good work that you do. And so do as many good works as you can. Help as many people as you can. I guarantee you that you cannot be sad and depressed when you're helping other people. Maybe you'll have to come back and do some proper thinking, shit thinking, to get back into that depression. But whilst you're helping people, you will be a happy bunny. So, state management, it's not rocket science. It's easy. All you've got to do is be aware of it. And all you've got to do in the worst case scenario is go to the mirror, look at yourself, smile and go, and it's sorted at least for half an hour just keep doing that like 16 times a day you're going to be rocking and rolling i hope that helps i love you all and i'll speak to you all later